Okay, so another day, another racist is being exposed for more racist behavior. Jimmy Kimmel, you're back at the front of the congregation. Mm, 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 mm. Jenny Wynn, pay attention. This is how you actually stand up for people of color. Okay. Trying to learn from my lessons, but do I get it yet? I wanna set an example, but I'm not sure I can handle All my demons, I'm thinking that I should court a vet I fight for all respect, I'm working overtime to keep up my head I understand I'll get the love when I'm dead, so my focus is red Choose the black, I don't what's keeping me chosen I've been the token, now the back is ahead On my soapbox, just... What's going on, everybody? Welcome and welcome back to Georgia, Carolina, your gated and racism-free community where we personalize culture and entertainment and then curate a conversation that's based on self-discovery and growth. I am your pop culture coordinator of all things inclusion and awareness, Jordan Renee, and I'm happy to have you back for another video. Okay, so here we go again, more racist being racist. Jimmy Kimmel is being called to the carpet again for more racist and racist adjacent comments that they've made about the K-pop band BTS, right? And specifically comparing the K-pop band to the C-19 variant, the Omarion, right? Omarion, let me know if you feel like that's disrespectful to name a uh, Ponderosa variant off on you. If you feel like that's disrespectful, let me know. If you think it's another way to promote yourself, let me know. Because I would probably try to spin that and use it to my advantage. But some people just think it's rude. So let me know how you feel about that. Hey, everybody. It's Editing Jordan. So we found out how Omarion feels about that. And uh, he's not very happy about it. He doesn't appreciate being compared to the carry on a 19 and a half. And... He specifically said that he's an artist, not a variant. So I can appreciate that stance and I'll apologize for including him in that specific way. Um, but I did want to include that picture of him in the video anyway, because he's just aging so well. Anyway, back to the video. Let's go back to the past and then I'm going to jump up, jump up to the present. OK, mind you, this is not Jimmy Kimmel's first experience with racism this is not his first experience with doing shit that's racist remind you back in the day jimmy kimmel was doing all type of blackface all over the tv doing basketball players doing oprah doing this person that person all type of blackface right got called to the carpet for that he made an apology that most people thought was bs but they ended up letting him slide and he kept on going, right? Especially because people tried to defend him and say that blackface is one thing and him doing celebrities is another thing and him doing Oprah and him doing this person and him doing that person is not blackface. When that's literally the definition of blackface, blackface is painting yourself in a tone that is comparable or darker to African-American or black people in a way that is done to make a joke or to make a mockery of so if jimmy kimmel was doing oprah or doing whoever as a joke or for a bit that is the definition that is stereotypical categorical blackface okay now he has been called out for making comments about bts and being compared to the C-19 Omarion variant, right? Mind you, this is the type of Asian hate that I was saying that I stand up against on top of the random attacks that Asian people were receiving by just people in the street for no reason. This is the type of shit that I'm talking about by sitting here and blaming this Ponderosa on Asian people. Like, that's not okay. Hey, this is Editing Jordan again. I wanted to jump back in with another one and specifically point out the xenophobia that is also being displayed. I know that we're talking about the racism that we're obviously seeing at this moment, but I wanted to also take a moment to make sure that we point out specifically xenophobia in this situation because BTS is not from this country. And to have this type of directed 
discrimination against people from another country is sick and disgusting and it's just as wrong and certifiable as racism so i wanted to make sure to show the equality of wrongdoing in both of these titles and both of these situations i wanted to make sure that we call him out for being just as xenophobic as he is racist okay back to the video not okay that is racist at the end of the day these microaggressions are under the umbrella of racism it is racist there there are no if ands or buts about it and for you to sit here and allude to the only like you were trying to be slick in this last attempt where he was in his opening monologue of his show and he alluded to this ponderosa variant or the levels of the variants being like boy bands and he started naming boy bands from the past all being american and then he finally got to the end and he didn't name the last boy band where he said and and then we'll get to one that's gonna take us all out or whatever right and never said a name uh, of, of a boy band mind you <laughs> excuse me he's already been called out for saying bts so i'm sure that was an intentional joke made to not say the name but allude to exactly knowing who, who you're talking about do you get what i'm saying like it's just that level of thought and that level of planning doubles down on intention of racism that is just blatant willful ignorance that almost seems like you're doing it intentionally to try to slip by the censors while still making the same joke like you didn't learn anything in fact it's not like that it's exactly what you did you literally just made the joke without saying the name so that implies to me that you do not like you're not ever going to realize that making a mockery of people of color is not a fucking comedy bit you did it with black people you tried to apologize <sighs> We got outvoted and they let you slide. That was back when white people could accept apologies on people of color's behalf, apparently. Okay? And even some black people f forgave you. You was real close to Kobe Bryant, so I'm not going to say none of us forgave you. But you switching the person of color that you make your racist attacks on doesn't make it any less racist jimmy it's still fucking racist just because you're not attacking black people just because you're not making fun of black people and, not, and now you're making fun of asian people that doesn't mean that it's now somehow less racist and that also doesn't mean that it's somehow more okay it actually just makes it racist and xenophobic just saying by only implying that you're talking about that race is still racist. I don't understand why cracking jokes at ethnicities and races expenses is so, why that is so important. Explain to me why that level of joke is so funny. Make me understand. Make it make sense. Explain to me how you cannot come up with any other material than racist material. And then when you are made informed that that material is racist, all you do is sugarcoat the racism. You're intentionally being racist, Jimmy Kimmel. There's no other way to spin this. If somebody sits here and tells you that a joke is not okay, if somebody tells you that a joke is racist and you just find another way to tell the joke, not only is that still racist, but it's doubling down on racism. That's a fuck you to the people who told you that that was racist and the people you're offending. Like, 
I don't understand. Why is racism such a plot point? Why is that always the go-to joke? Is white supremacy that fragile for you that you feel the need to tear down any person of color to make yourself feel good? Are you feeling that low about yourself as a white person that you need to go and tear down other people by comparing them to diseases and making jokes of them? That's that's what gives you your kicks. That's what makes you feel good about yourself. That's what makes you feel like a good comedian. Either your standards are low or mine are too high. And I guarantee you it's not the latter. This is disgusting. But you know what? There's only so much that I even need to say about this because you don't care. This this has been happening since the 90s. You've been racist since the 90s. You was using the N word when you, when you was impersonating Snoop back in the day. You 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 was doing blackface. You done sat here and compared um carry on a 19 down to the bts and now you've sat here and implied every boy band to a variant just to try to overcast the fact that you're making this band bts the biggest variant of them all that's gonna take everybody out like you think your audience is that stupid that 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 we're not able to put that joke together and if you think that that was gonna and if you weren't thinking that that was gonna slide by us you're basically saying on your show you're an intentional racist and fuck Asian people. That's really what that is. That's a middle finger to Asian people. That is exactly what that joke was. Explain to me how it's anything but. If you were already called out on on comparing BTS to, to the Carry On 19, how is making the same joke and including other boy bands, but alluding to the boy band you've already been called out about. How is that not the same thing, but worse? Mind you, it's it's like you're just stacking slaps on top of people of color's faces because you've already doubled down on your racism with black people. Now you're doubling down on your racism with Asian people. You really ain't got no fucks to give, do you? Like, you really is just a out and out. Like, you really is just a white power screaming motherfucker, ain't you? Cause that's really what that is. Like, you you are bla like you are like you may as well just walk on stage and scream white power to your motherfucking audience. Like, am I tripping? Am I tripping? How is it? that you've been called out for racism against two different races multiple times and yet you still feel the need to make that one of the pillars of your comedy on national television. I mean, anywhere is an issue. If it was in your stand-up down to the comedy club and the dive bar, like... It's still a problem. If you did it in a set that nobody saw, it's still an issue. You writing the fucking joke is the issue. But I don't understand how you expect this to keep happening and people not to keep getting in your ass. Like, how do you expect, like, are you just trying to find more covert ways, ways to be racist? Like saying the N word didn't work. So you thought maybe dressing like a black person would make us laugh and, you know, slide by the menstrual act. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, so maybe if I switch races and jump over to Asian people, then the black people will laugh. So then they'll jump on with the white folks and we'll be cool. Eh, wrong. Racism is racism. So you comparing Asian people to the Carry On a 19. is wrong so once again you using other boy bands as an overcast 
to just say that the Asian band is the worst one at the end. You didn't have to actually say their name. One, you've already been called out for that, so it would be too obvious. And two, you really, like, come on. Like, it's, like, you set the joke up exactly like that. So, I say all of that to say, Jimmy Kimmel is a fucking racist. Has been since at least the 90s. Well, he's been showing it since at least the 90s. Jimmy Kimmel has been sitting on our television screens screaming, I am a racist since at least the 90s. And you all keep giving him chance after chance after chance. Whoever you all is, I am sure that is predominantly Caucasian people who were in power down to the networks who don't listen to the people of color who are outraged. But hear me and hear me well, because I am going to keep talking. This is a clear and blatant display of racism. We see you. And don't think that just because you're not talking about black people, that black people are not going to call you out. Like, come on. Mm, mm -mm. So what y'all gonna do? Because it's not like y'all ain't got the receipts. It's not like y'all don't have the history. So white people in power, what y'all gonna do? Balls in your court. Y'all ain't got no excuse. We all see you again, again. This is strike four now. This is the fourth time that he's publicly been called out for being racist that I can count and find and find physical receipts for it. Actually, it's strike five and six. Y'all remember that time in 2013 when he made that joke about killing everyone in China? Or what about that time he mocked that Asian woman's name at the Oscars? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I said I was on your ass. You blatantly double down on racism with black people, so you switch races when that, when that don't work and now you jump over to Asian people thinking they stupid. Like, what is with this white supremacist comedy that you're trying to force down our throats, Jim Jim? There are, like, do you think only white people, like, <laughs> have television? Like, do you think only white people are able to see your show? Do you think that, like, your show cannot be seen by any person of color ever in the world? Do you only think white people are seeing this? Because I'm I'm so confused. Like, do you have pe pe people of color in your audience? Clearly you don't. Clearly you don't. Like, you don't have people in your audience that, like, are black or people of color that look at you crazy when you tell jokes like this? Because I would think if there were black people or Asian people sitting in my, uh, sitting in my audience and I'd make a joke like that and they're like, I would be like, wait a minute, something ain't right. I just... <sighs> anyway, y'all tell me how y'all feel. Drop down in the comments, leave your opinions. Y'all know I will be there. And <laughs> thank you so much for coming back to Georgia, Carolina. I am your pop culture coordinator of all things inclusion and awareness, Jordan Renee. And... If you like the video, like the video, Sh share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, do all of the thing, the thing, the thing, the things, and <laughs> I'm damn near delirious because I just can't, I can't understand how a man has blatantly been on our television screens projecting flat out racism since the 90s and he is still on TV and I'm talking about this shit in 2022. I am legitimately delirious. Like, I, I got to go. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.